Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm here on behalf of ExpertVillage.com, and I'm going to talk to you about how to play a glissando on the French horn. This is what a glissando looks like. It's really pretty simple. All you do is you start on the first note, and you want to get to the, to the last note, and you can hit as many notes in between as possible. What it's going to sound like is just a rip. So it's one of the few times where a horn player can just let loose. So don't be afraid to do so. The most important thing is that you start on the correct note, that you end on the correct note, and that you stay in time. But definitely try to hit as many notes in between as possible. You'll notice you can actually use your fingers slightly to try to hit, to hit more notes in between. Or, if you blow all the way through it, you should hit all the notes in between. And you don't need to use your fingers. Really, the idea of a glissando, the spirit of it, is something like the hunting horn call. And the French horn used to be a hunting horn, so it comes pretty naturally. Just remember, when you're playing glissando, let loose, let it rip. It's the most natural thing to play on the horn.